Here is where we left off in our previous episode. We actually deployed a web app in Microsoft Azure and this was the default URL given to us. So in this episode, we are going to hook up a custom domain name and also try to get an SSL certificate for free in Microsoft Azure. So let's get started. I'm going to scroll down to custom domains, okay? And this is where I would input my custom domain, all right? But you can simply purchase a custom domain right for Microsoft Azure down here. Click on buy uh, domain and then you'll be good. You'll be good to go. Uh, but I have already um, purchased a domain. So I just need this IP address. So I'll copy it and I'll go back to my domain name service provider. I purchased one from namecheap.com. So I'm just going to scroll down. Okay. TechCloudInc.com is the domain name I purchased. I'm just going to click on manage. And within a few minutes, it will be loaded for me. So what I want to do is to add some DNS settings. Okay. So I'll click on advanced DNS. So if you were to use Namecheap.com, then uh, Name.com or even GoDaddy.com, you can do the same thing. Okay. So I'll just scroll down. Okay. So here is where I need to tell my name my domain name service provider that okay i have um, an app inside microsoft azure and i want you to point to it whenever anyone requests of you okay so i'm just going to click here and i would click on add new record so what we are going to add first is a record and i'll point it to the roots which is at and i'll point, put my ip address right here and when I'm done, I'll click on the check mark. Okay. Now, the next thing which is very important is for us to add a TST record. Okay. So I'm just going to scroll down here. Yeah. And I'll click here. And I would as well point you to. Um, now I'll be pointing you to this particular address which was generated for me right here. So I'll just copy it without the HTTPS. I'll copy it. Okay and I'll paste it right here as a value, okay? And you can see everything works fine. So now I'll just click on check. So this will save my changes, telling namecheap.com that please point to my app inside Microsoft Azure, okay? So now that we've added it, we can just come down here and add a custom domain to our app, okay? Remember that our app is called TechLoud Inc. Dot com. Our, yeah, our domain name is called thecloudinc.com, right? And I'll click on validate. Okay, so, okay, yeah, so Microsoft Azure also searched behind the scene to see whether this domain name is really mine and if I have all the TST record and as well as the uh, A name added. So I'll click on add custom domain. Okay, and yep that will be added for me so now when i visit my browser all right that does it right here but you know it's not secured because i don't have ssl certificate on it nonetheless it works fine when i visit my browser and i type techloudinc.com i should be pointed to my app now okay so techloudinc.com okay awesome so in this episode we successfully added a custom domain name. In the next episode, we will configure an SSL certificate. See you there.